It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. You know, a while back, I put an article out on LinkedIn. The title of the article was this. Will Conica follow Rico's 2017 strategy and sell back their direct operations to the dealers? Just a thought. I brought up some points in that thinking. And I also mentioned in that article, well, maybe Xerox and Conica ought to get together. And today in this video, I want to do an argument of why I believe that would be an awesome home run for both those organizations. And folks, it starts out like this. You know, Xerox, well, they're a marketing company. They don't manufacture print equipment. They manufacture production print equipment, and they do that very well. They own that space. Been doing a great job with that for decades. But the business print, all those millions of customers that have business copiers, A4s and A3s, they don't manufacture those. They source them. They used to source them from Fuji. They source stuff from Samsung, now HP. But they need a manufacturer as they retired their relationship with Fuji. They need a manufacturer. Konica, great manufacturer. Makes some great products. Think about some of the things that Xerox doesn't do in the industrial print space that, you know, Konica does. Could be some synergies there, folks. But when I say that Konica and Xerox ought to come together, it's really about an infrastructure. It's capitalizing on the footprint, the infrastructure of delivering the equipment into the marketplace from a sales perspective and a service perspective. I want you all to look at this map. And as you look at this map, I want you to think about the EM, EA marketplace too. Forget about Asia and the ANZ marketplace. Just put that aside. Think about Americas, both Canada, and our friends below us. And then think about the EMA market. And think about how many Xerox offices are, are, in these, are in these states here in the United States. Think about it. Think about all those Xerox operations. Think about all those Konica operations. You see where I'm going with this? Gosh, massive consolidation. And we know that Xerox knows how to do that. They did it. They did it in 2019. A lot of the world criticize them. Ruthless people. Getting rid of distribution. Firing people. Blah, blah, blah. It's a good thing they did that because you know what? Xerox is actually making money. Even during this COVID problem. They're not hitting anything out of the park. But they're above zero, folks. Our friends at Konica are not above zero. And so there has to be consolidation. We all know that. You know, when some, somebody said to me when I put that in the article and I said that Konica and Xerox ought to get together, they said, what makes you think a Japanese company is going to do anything with an American company? And I said, COVID. Massive declines in print. For the very first time in the industry's history, the industry's end users are becoming more and more aware that they're not as dependent on the product the industry sells. That's a problem. When your customers are becoming more aware that they're not as dependent on your product as they used to be, well, I guess by definition, that means we're headed for a big decline. And so there has to be consolidation. And consolidation has to make sense. You know? And that's why, you know, Xerox, they could go out and do something with a Rico, sure. But it doesn't really give them anything. You know, Rico's already got rid of all their direct distribution for the most part. Konica gives them something they can work with to cut the cost to deliver the equipment in the marketplace where they can still capture the revenue from that marketplace. There's a lot of synergies with this deal, folks. And it's just about opening your mind up to what could be based on what should be. Doesn't mean that Xerox and Konica are going to run out there and do a deal, but it, we need to start thinking about these things. And then how does that particular, you know, consolidation affect us? How does it affect us if we're a Konica dealer? How does it affect us if we're a Tashi or if we're a uh, Xerox dealer? There will be effects. What if Xerox does something with Toshiba? How does that affect us? The dealers in the industry just got to start thinking past what's in front of them. And they got to take all this nonsense out of their mind about why things won't work. It drives me crazy when I hear people always coming up with a reason why something doesn't work instead of exploring how it could work. It's in the exploration of how things could work that defined what will work. That's the reality of business. When we look at how things could work, we define how it will work. 
When we look at how things won't work, we stay status quo. We have arguments that are irrelevant. We try to bring the past to the future. It never works. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if Xerox and Conic are going to get together, but boy, i got to be honest with you. I think it's one of the smartest plays they could make. Xerox has already proven they're bold leaders. They tried to buy HP. They could surely buy Conica. Conica's diversified into other areas. They could probably use the money to focus on the other areas, their healthcare business, their industrial lens business. Maybe they want to be just a manufacturer. Let's just make the equipment. Let somebody else bring it to the marketplace because the cost to deliver equipment to the marketplace is killing these manufacturers. It's killing them. Rico recognized it in 2017, and Conica's recognizing it now. Folks, they've got to make money, and they've struggled. All these organizations are going to struggle through this. we still got a couple more quarters of craziness. But coming into 2021, in the second half of 2021, we've got to be ready to be bold. We've got to be ready to change the landscape of the industry. Because the landscape of the industry will change. And those that believe that they can hide in the weeds, they're going to get run over by the mower as it cleans up the landscape. Ladies and gentlemen, just something to think about, and I want to end this the way I always do. Status quo is the killer of all that will be invented. Don't get stuck in status quo, and I'll see you all tomorrow.